interception from the Celtic support. He's only a sub today, but I'm sure in the days of the future when he's got his grandchildren around him, George will regale them with tales of the famous goal he scored against Ajax that brought Celtic back from the dead. And amongst those people who congratulated on, the, on his feet, the Celtic bank manager. And Celtic are quite unchanged. That magnificent performance at the Tundon gave Scottish football, along with the other sides that uh, performed well, Rangers and Aberdeen, its biggest boost for years. And the referee about to stop the game, David Sign. Well, they've closed some of the gates here at Tannadice. Some just to the left are open, and uh, from this uh, new commentary position of mine, way up at the top of the stand, I can see down to the left, which we can't pick up with the cameras, unfortunately, for you. Some supporters still crowning to get into this ground, which is absolutely jam-packed. Good cleanse there by Hegarty. Rather slight ball, it looked to be from the cannon, but picked up well. Now nearly. Easy Zeno gently given away by Eamon Bannon. Nicholas. Scored the first goal in Amsterdam. Look at the way he slipped the ball through the legs again. He does that with great skill. This is a good looking attack. And McGarvey picks up. McLeod. McStay. Very tight in there. McGarvey wriggles through. Still not clear. McStay goes down. And that was a free kick. Right on the edge of the box. Couldn't have been any nearer. So, Bowman is there, as is McLeod. Good defensive lineup by the Tangerine Jerseys and Danny McGrain. Trying his luck. Talking to Danny at uh, lunchtime today, and I think he considers the result that wins tonight one of the best of his career. Mill right off the top of the head. Good running by Dodds and McAdam. Uh, ushers it out. This should be interesting, the duel between that pair. Both very good in the air. Stutter. Wriggled his freedom there. There's a brilliant shot and save. Well filled. Beautifully put back by Stutter. Now that's a high quality shot. Look at the barriers he had. Where's in front of him? The goalkeeper there who twisted and did quite superbly to get uh, that touched away. Beautiful goal there by McLeod, bringing it down, shoving it all in the one mo mo motion. Charlie Nicholas doesn't mind picking the ball up with his back to goal, has the ability to wriggle through. He wants a kind of one two and he gets it. tries to wriggle his way through that's no foul and mostly it's been united on the defensive Sturrock well it's astonishing that golf was given that freedom is it a touch there no ball. oh no Well, he almost took the crossbar away. Good ball out initially to golf, touched inside. Then that lovely turn round by Mill, and look at the ferocity of the shot. I think, in fact, you overdid it. Looking very strong going in there. That's not a bad ball either, Nicholas. Did the little shuffle. Cooks it round. Too much height, I think, a deflection. The corner kick. Sharp one by David Trovan. That's a good looking one, and it was McCannum coming in. That scale try the long shot. Oh, for the second week in a row. From exactly the same position. 20 minutes gone. the 
beginning to show little glimpses of his better self. Charlie Nicholas has this technique of uh, letting a player rush to him. Turning quickly. Oh, good ball inside. And again, Nicholas. Just set magnificent ball to Aiken. Yes. Two nothing. Everybody back for Celtic. Milne slinging it over Hegarty. Not really positive enough in that. A brilliant flick picked up by Kirkwood, though. Milne, Stutter, and he gets around the keeper. There's a great chance. David Dodds makes it 2-1 with 14 minutes of the game remaining. And that turn run by Scott is, of course, one of his uh, best mannerisms in the match. Moving up line, good save by Bonner. But Dodds, as he is wont to do, picking up the piece, sticking it away. Aiken drives forward. We saw him go against Monaghan. Running out of options there. Could only give that to David Proven. Aiken. Round the outside. I think a bit too much for me. Certainly, United have come back. Certainly, United have come back. Look a much uh, more enlivened team. Dodds. Well, that's a great shot. Just kick with it. And the right is really hot not to spawn that chance. That was really driven in hard back there. And eventually the chip a bit in it. McCloskey. Doesn't get away with it. Stoddard turns well this time. That's a good ball to David Dodds. Just past. And United, really for the first time in this game, are beginning to flow with a style that we recognize so much is their own brand of football. Plays it wide. Robin. That's the chip who's up for it. Well, the flag was there, but Rob Milne had come all the way back. This game really pulsating with life again. What a colour that, and Hamish McAlpin did commit himself. This is meant for Stutter. Too many. That's a good ball. McCluskey. The tangerine jersey's got towards him. Picked up by Danny McRae. There's 
a one two a bit too obvious though and Malthus can't get that here's problem that's a better ball almost there great ball by Proven and look at the Kluski raging and bent down and a bit too straight with it all Britain or oh, gives it away the Kluski turns well on it wants to go forward himself it's a great run by McCluskey but picked off this time by Hegarty Goff Britain Tackled by Ronnie McLeod and Neri very easily forward. Stunner. There's Milne. David Dodds. In goes Stunner. Oh, great ball. That is the equaliser. United have done it with only five minutes remaining. Would you believe it? I thought they were dead just after the interval with that second goal by Aiken. Look at this superbly set up goal with two of the best players involved in it. Bill Stunner and that great shot by Bill eventually. God's in on it. Look at the way he drove it in a great ball. Sinker looks to be leading. Golf. Billy Kirkwood. United on the counter attack. Here's Mills. 